Hello all of my little baby bunnies and welcome back to Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. When we last left off, we, uh, I missed on picking up a speck of dust. I'm very, I'm very upset about that. <sighs> but I have to go talk to the coroner, so let's go do that. Um, oh, w w did I say my name? It's Karen. It's Karen with Karen Bob Gaming. Cool. Alright. Water fountain! Ooh! Oh, that's a horrific sound. <sighs> oh, oh god, that was awful. Let me look at the city seal. The inscription says, Pelotronics, the, the brain of our city. <laughs> oh yeah, the top secret pillow bear. Top secret. <laughs> Fucking love it. Is there anything over here? Nope. Bah. Okay. All right. Talk to the Howdy who! I'm that the is a Dimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. Okay. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. All right, Tell us Blood about the Tron. Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type. Printing out a report to who? Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. Okay. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Gorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The face of Reno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> <laughs> and go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. <laughs> wow. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. <laughs> so the sheriff and the coroner are the same guy. Got it. Find the murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon, get fingerprint report. ID for the victim in hotel. Yes, it is. Face Tron report. Blood swab from the body. Suspicious, suspicious item with blood on it. Okay. The brain Chewy diagram. Chewy caramel center. Ew. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort, Mort E. Shan by, by Sheriff Crook. Crook. <laughs> oh my Christ! I Lots love of it. medical books there. That, that's all you got to say. All right. Let's go look at the skeleton. Oh, there's oh a drawer. Okay. Skeleton. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. <laughs> Do I really want to open a... It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Great. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but, it doesn't have but it's tape. missing the fingerprint uh, tape. Okay. Alright, let's switch over to her, see if she finds anything else. What did she write down? Same stuff. Okay. Fingerprint tape. I don't have anything I can use. Oh, there's another speck of dust. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lots of medical books there. Is that it? Okay. 
Can one character pick up more than one? Uh, Nothing scary in there. Okay. I have a speck of dust. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this guy should have a speck of dust. Hey, buddy. Why don't you pick up that speck of dust, huh? It's my speck of dust. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay. So talk to the sheriff. Hello again, Agent Areno. They are absolutely Hopefully the, same the coroner fills in on our state of the art Areno computers. <laughs> oh god. You I mean the coroner said something about the arrestron? Yes, the arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. Mm. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every Ooh. detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. If this guy Moving says, on. Right, Reno. Uh, sorry, Reno, I, I get carried away sometimes. One more time. This is the big bad oh. boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. Ow. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Sorry. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Mm. Looks like we need oh, to go same. talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. Mm. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay, so it's probably that same uh, clown that's on that flyer she picked up. Okay, Police Tron 3000. <laughs> Telephone? It doesn't have any buttons. <laughs> Must be for incoming calls only. Mm, standard city issued desk. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Can you use it? <laughs> Is this thing on? Breaker one nine, breaker, breaker. Daisy, Daisy, <laughs> give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. <laughs> A bicycle built for two. That's great. I shouldn't be using okay. official county equipment. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Mm. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? meteor? Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Radio! It's turned off. Can I turn it on? We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until the government... Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Cool. Just a bunch of files. This is the hostile takeover song. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily seem like the two I need to different... stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. It doesn't seem like the, uh, the two different characters can necessarily see different things, but they can have different conversations with people. Um, 
pick up two different things. <clears throat> okay. Oh Christ, I'm so sorry. The train is outside. I did not expect that. Hello, train. Let me tell you, one of the nicest things, oh look, it's the pigeons again. One of the nicest things about living right next to the train tracks is um, we've got a pretty well insulated like building, so we don't hear too many of the noises. Damn it, that speck of dust already left. All right, we don't hear too many of the noises um, from outside that are super annoying, so that's not really a problem. Um, but the train is pretty loud. Uh, even with the insulation. But it's like muffled just enough to where, um, oh dear. It's muffled just enough to where it's like just a soft, soothing sound. And it always comes by at night. And a lot of the times it comes by when I'm already in bed. And so it's like really, really fucking comfortable to just lay in bed and listen to the train trundling over the tracks. Oh, it's so pleasant. Corner of Main and A Streets. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Okay. WC-67 tube. It's a bag full of plumber tools and an odd-looking wrench. Oh, talk to Big Pigeon or talk to Bigger Pigeon? I was trying to figure out what exactly they they had as their titles. Did, did they pick up the wrench? I was going to try to pick up the wrench. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training <laughs> can handle it. Wrench. I love how everything has <laughs> is like just dash three thousand. That's how you know it's high tech. <laughs> oh. Art by Eltron. Smart by Electronics, but it's art by Eltron. Forever sorry. It says, after thirty-four years of serving the Tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. Hmm. Okay. Safely first savings. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Um, and I'll finish exploring the rest of the town uh, when we get back. Um, this is, what are we on? We're on episode four. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more episode just as like a, here's what the game is like, give you guys a good idea of what, of what it's like. Although I'm sure you've got a pretty good idea already, but hopefully now that we're more into the meat of the game, we can like get a really solid handle on what the rest of the game is gonna look like and see if you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks everybody for watching. As always, it's much appreciated. Make sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to do those things. I'll see you guys in the next video for Temple Park. Bye.